Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I will show you how to assemble the wire spoke wheels for the Jaguar XKE by Agora Models. Now, this is how I do it, and this is relatively a uh, pretty detailed video on how it's done. Very hard for me to film some of the sequences in this, but I thought I'd go ahead and throw this longer version of how to install spokes on the wheels. There's actually four different rows of spokes that need to be installed and just remember that the first two are held down by a backing plate and some screws and then the last two set of uh, spokes are installed and they're hung freely. You put on the, uh, you sandwich the wheel together and you align your spokes with some tweezers and then you screw it together. So that's the best way that I found out with those. You don't want to use any super glue and you definitely do not want to use any tweezers to hold these spokes. You do not get any spares from Agora models so if you lose one in the carpet monster you're going to be out of luck. So anyway this is my best attempt to show you how to assemble those wheels. So please give me some feedback in the comments below. I, I know it's not perfect but I try to give you the best that I can uh, with what I have. Let's get started. So to assemble these spokes on these rims, we're going to take the inner uh, center part here and it has a, a, a detent or a tab here that this needs to line up to. So you're simply just going to take and uh, install it like that and then fill it, hit the detent. It should drop down just like that and it's locked in. And then we have another tab, alignment tab here. We take the uh, outer ring and we make sure it's positioned like that. There's an alignment hole and we're going to put that right on top. And then we can go ahead and start uh, installing our spokes. We have 24 of them all together. And here's a close-up of that spoke. You're going to have uh, 48 of these total. Do not use tweezers to install these into the inner rim itself. I'm just using Twizzler now to show you. So be very careful with these. You don't lose them because you don't get any spares. Next we have the inner rim. Now the inner rim has four sets of spokes that need to be installed. So on the inner rim we have the uh, 24 on the bottom inner row. And then on the outer row, which is the top one, we also have 24 spokes that go into that. And then later on, we're going to be putting in more spokes, two sets of spokes, on the inner and outer rows there too. Okay. So, like I was saying, when you go to install these, you want to do it by hand. So we want to insert the, the end that doesn't have the flat edge on it, that's going to hold it in place when we actually insert it. So we'll insert it on the bottom, or what they call the inner row, and slide that in. Okay. Once it's slid in, it needs to, the other end needs to go into these flats that are on the inner side here. Okay. And you have a large flat a large gap and a narrow gap. It's kind of hard to see, so it needs to go into what they call the the narrow gap on the right and you have a large, so it would actually go right in between those. Okay, so you can kind of see there you have um, large and small. Small, large, small, large. So it's going to go right in between the small and the large. So, for example, if I take another one over, bring it over, it's going to fit. Kind of like that. In between the, the small to the right and the large to the left. I'm going to insert this by hand into the bottom one. like that and then I'm going to line it up with my tweezers and 
and you can see I went between the small gap and the large gap. Okay, so I need to go out more with it. It needs to go more at an angle to where it's tight. And you can say, kind of see that. So it's all the way up against there on the end and in between the small and the large. So you can see how that goes there. That's how you want all your spokes to go. I'll do the next one right beside it. I'll pull it through, push it through either way. We'll skip a, a ridge and put it on the next one. And there you have it. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of them and I'll be right back. There you have it. 24 spokes are installed. And I would not recommend super glue for this even though you think it would help you out and hold them in place. You don't want to have anything super glued in this case with these spokes because you want to have some flexibility of them when you start layering on the other spokes and it's just going to be a hindrance to you if you use a super glue. So it's time to install the 24 spokes that are on the outer part of the ring and uh, that should be fairly simple here to do. Okay so once we have all the other spokes in now we're going to put the other row of spokes on the outer ring. It's going to insert into the outer ring just like it did on the inner ring and then it's going to go the opposite direction and crisscross over the other spokes and the spoke itself is going to face the other direction into the smaller uh, groove that we didn't put the other spokes into and we're going to put 24 of them in and that's how it should look. I'll be right back with the rest. All the spokes are in place like they should be and it was a real challenge to do. It took some time. Uh, no super glue was used because you want to have the freedom of movement there. So now we got to put the locking ring in place. And that's this right here. You want to make sure that it's facing it in a downward motion where your, these are facing up. And there's actually an alignment tab to this on the very top there. So put that in there. AG02 screws go into this to lock everything in place. Four of them. And we just tighten down all four from there. And it should secure all the spokes in place. And that's how that looks there. Now we can go ahead and pry this off. There's all your spokes and there's a lot of give there right because you didn't super glue any of them and that's the kind of movement we're going to need when we go to install the other spokes on top. The next thing needs to be done is this ring needs to be installed onto the wheel and it basically has an alignment hole here and we just need to find that and we line it up with the wheel and it should just press fit there we go and we just press fit it in place and that's going to stiffen up everything 
Okay, that looks good there. All right. Now we can proceed with installing the other spokes. This time we're going to use type A spokes and we're going to be feeding it into the what they call the uh, inner row, which is the bottom row. And we have 12 spokes for that. Now we take and uh, thread our A spoke, which is a longer spoke. And that's going to go through the lower edge. Just like that. Now, it needs to thread through the diamond shape. And let me explain what the diamond shape is here. So the diamond shape is right there, like it shows, which it's actually trying to go through right there. Diamond. So we'll push that through that. All the way through it. Now I'll turn it over, and they say it needs to line up with the wide groove. Just like that. And they say if it doesn't line up correctly, then you might want to try the next one over. Okay, and I, I seem to get it right, and it's lined up with the, the diamond shape. And the next one will be the, pretty much the same way. And we're going to skip a diamond and go to the next one, the next diamond. And go through it. Okay, I pull it through. Okay, so both of those are hanging down, and they both should go on the wide groove. So I'll need to feed all 12 spokes through and just leave them loose for now, like they are indicated underneath. So I'll feed them all through, and I'll be right back. Okay, so all 12 are inserted. You can kind of see it there. And hanging down, they're not uh, clipped to the back side yet. Okay, and now we will put in uh, spoke B into where they need to go. And what spoke B's need to do is they need to. Uh, cross over these ones and go into the the other diamond spokes that we didn't put spokes through. It has to be done at an angle. I'll show you that here in a second. Spoke B has to go into the outer ring, top ring part. Put that through. Okay. And then it goes at an angle and it has to go through the other diamond okay and push it through that diamond right there
And there we go. And that's through that diamond. And you can see how everything rotates there. I'll put the rest in, and I'll be right back. Okay, all the spokes are inserted, and they're all freely floating underneath. You can kind of see that. Now what they want us to do is uh, take a washcloth or a paper towel and insert it in this to prevent the pins from falling back out. And then as you turn it over, they want you to, to wipe it across and get all your pins lined up there. And just get everything lined up. And line it up with the pin here. So once you have it snapped together and everything lined up on the pins, then you can put your screws in, which are AG03 screws. And a lot of this I had to do off camera because it's just not easy to show you. There's a lot of uh, uh, trial and error here when it comes to getting all the pins to line up and lay flat on the back side because everything is so loose. But eventually I got it and everything looks good with this wheel and this is the way it should should work for you and you can see um, I have one pin that did not go in like it should but I can see if I can try to fix that but looks good and there you have it the wheel is completed Everything worked well. Just remember uh, not to use tweezers when trying to insert the pins through the holes there. And you can use tweezers to do your alignments. But the uh, first two sets, obviously, they'll lay down in, in place no problem. You can secure them down. And then the last two sets, sets you just want to put them in let them hang loose. You want to put a, a table, you know, piece of... Uh, uh, cloth or paper towel to, to lock all the pins in place on the very end. But I was thinking maybe even a large eraser you could put in there to work for that. And then you want to kind of smooth out all the pins on top, put the cover on, make sure everything, all your pins line up. You might have to use tweezers to move them around and then secure it down. Snap it down hard and secure it. And then there you go. And none of the pins should be sticking out in the middle there. And that's how that should look.